Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Rosenberger on this fine Thursday evening. Just had to check the calendar. I felt like you guys needed a video recording demonstration of how to submit your animation or create your animation to submit your animation. So once you have, let me get my sketchbook out. Once you have completed this step with all six to 10 of your frames colored in and you took a photo with your cell phone of each frame, what I'm gonna ask you to do is assemble your um, animation into a video editor or Google slide. And I'm gonna show you how to do all three of those steps. I'm gonna do it as quick as I can and as clearly as I can. So the first is if you have a Chromebook. If you have a Chromebook, you don't have a video editor on your computer. So what you can do is search open shot video editor. If you're on a Chromebook, on a school Chromebook, this is not blocked. You can click on this website. It is approved by Montgomery County Public Schools. And you can click this little blue download button. Once it downloads, follow the instructions to install it. And you should be able to either find it here on your desktop or you can search open shot and then video editor will pop up. Waiting. And this is if you have a Chromebook. You can also do this if you have a laptop, but I'll show you a step you can take if you have a laptop. So I've already emailed my photos to myself. If I'm on my phone, I'm not sure if there's an app for this on your phone. You can email your pictures to yourself or check your iCloud. You can then go to, I downloaded my photos. Okay, I'm not sure if these are it. So let me just drag this whole line here. Drag them over here. You can see my frames are popping up. Okay, so this is like the full frame. I don't really need this one. and I don't need this one. So I'm gonna have to copy and paste this in two uh, sets. So I'm gonna drag these over here. Uh, wait, did I only drag one? Okay, maybe you have to do one at a time. So I'll look for each one. So this is the first one, I'll put it here. Second, just drag it on your storyboard. Third, fourth, uh, what happened there? Drag it up. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. I can then press the space bar or press play to see how long my transitions are. I can see this is on for a good amount of seconds. So what I want to do, I can um, I can zoom in or out. So this is like my 30 second mark. I can shorten each clip. Let me just. What does this triangle do? Uh, no properties maybe. You can change the duration of the clip. Get rid of that. Okay, why does this keep popping up? Sorry guys, X. So I'm gonna do it the way that I'm used to. So I thought I could figure out another way, but I can't. So I'm gonna shorten the clip so it's nice and uh, skinny and small. If they get too small for you to click on, you can zoom out to see the uh, clip longer. So I can see that my clip is a couple seconds. Let's see how quick this pops up. Okay, that seems like a good amount of time. So I'm gonna move each clip next to it and make it about that short. And I'm doing this on open shot video editor. This is uh, best for Chromebooks. Just 
dragon dragging. Let's see what we got. Now, if these are too long, it says, what, 10 seconds? This is. Let's see how long our transitions are. Still too long. They're about one second. I need to zoom. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on? Oh, there we go. There we go. I need to uh, make them even shorter. They need to be under, each clip should be under a second. Um, I think a good general rule of thumb is 0.3 seconds. Clicking and dragging. Let's see how quick these are, if they're still too long. Oh, that's perfect. Nice and short. So you might want to take advantage of that zoom in, zoom out bar on OpenShot Video Editor. So you may have to do some um, troubleshooting and you know trial and error and see what works, what doesn't. But we can look at my clip, and it's an animation. I can. Uh, highlight them all and do control C and control V a few times. Can do it again. Control C, click off. Control V. Looks like it's only going to let me do it twice. So uh, let's take a look at what the final animation looks like. All right, well, it looks like there are some editing issues that this may create if you copy and paste it. So it's a good thing I made the mistake for you. So maybe you just want to do it one time. So I shortened all my clips. I downloaded uh, the OpenShot video editor. I put, all my, I put all of my pictures here, dragged them down here, made them short enough. I made my clip under. Uh, two seconds, and then when I press play, here's my animation. Play it again. So this software is free, so you will have some glitches, but when you're ready to save on OpenShot Video Editor, if you have a Chromebook, you're gonna click Export Project, Export Video, Save it with your name, Mr. Rosenberger Animation. And then choose a place to save it. So I'm going to save it to my uh, school files. And then I'm going to click Export Video. It'll save the video. Click Done. And I should be able to go back into my files if I search, if I look for Mr. Rosenberger right there, Animation. It'll pop up as a video, and I can attach this on my MCPS classroom. A second way to do this, and I'm not gonna demonstrate how to you know, drag the clips on, it's all the same, is if you have a laptop, a personal computer, you can search video or edit, and you may find a video editor that your computer has. You can start a new project on there. Title it, Mr. Rosenberger Animation. So put your name on it, Animation. Then you can add photos from your computer. So I got them from downloads. Dragged them on. And then I can do the exact same process for um, the uh, animation on a video editor. And I can click, when I put a clip on, I can click on certain PCs, you can do this on the basic PC video editor. I can just type how long I want each clip to be. So if I did that for every single clip, and I just stuck them all on there, drag, drag, 
drag, drag, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just go on to each one, go to duration, do point three. I could even copy and paste it to make my life easier. Control C, then click on the next one, double click, I guess. Duration, Control V, keeps editing the same one. Make sure you're checked it, Control V, duration, Control V. Make sure you've checked it before you edit it. Maybe I could even do all of them. Check all the boxes. Click on duration, control V, or type 0.3 seconds. That's a good magic number. And if I watch my video now, it animates. And then I can click finish video, save video, export, whatever it is on your computer. It, I'm glitching. <laughs> and then the last but not least option I want you to try if you don't have any video editing software, you can't download the um, video editors, I want you to go to Google Slides, go to New, Google Slides. And I actually already have, um, I already have a slideshow made. You can simply drag your photos onto a presentation and then when I go in, I can press play. The transitions are longer on Google Slides. I just dragged one photo on each slide. This can count. Um, so you can either upload a file of a video that you made with a video editor or you can upload a Google Slides. These sh drawings should be in color. These were before I had color. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in class. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.